Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play Bloodborne. So, I believe from looking everything up, I didn't sign an NDA to do this, and I've seen like Ouroboro and Peeves, and all. from what I've seen, you're allowed to post Let's Plays of this game. So, just want to preface that with, I believe you are allowed to do this. So, this is a Let's Play of the Bloodborne Alpha Test, and let's go ahead and get into it, and go into a new game. So, I haven't had a chest, chance to test out uh, all these characters. I've only got into the Alpha finally for the third day, so... um. I kind of spent the first half of my time playing with the Saw Cleaver slash Blunderbuss, which is this character on the left, which you've seen through most trailers. I'm going to play as this character as the Warped Twin Blades uh, and the Pistol. I know that that's what Peeves did for his playthrough. It's just the character that I've been the most curious about, other than the one with this blade that pops out. So since I've only had one day to do this, um, I'm kind of just like, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and learn this character with you guys. So I hope you don't mind as we jump into this. At the moment, the loading screens are a little long for Bloodborne, but I imagine that that's specifically an alpha thing. So bear that in mind that, um, like, frame rate issues that you might see and, like, this really long loading screen here is probably due to it being an alpha. Now, of course, there's no way to really tell if that's going to be the final product, but I wouldn't hold stuff like that against the game, you know, until we find out that that is what, what it really isn't afterwards. So we're here in Yarnim, if you look at the bottom right. And I don't really know too much about the lore yet, but I'll try and talk about what I do know. No, uh, this area here is closed off. A lot of areas closed off, um, obviously, as it's an alpha. But I imagine that's where you come from. And oh, this is gonna be interesting for me trying to figure out this new character since you have the two swords. Oh, okay. So I guess uh, if I press my left stick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, oh, that's how it works. So. I figured that one stick would control your left hand weapon and one stick would control your right hand weapon, or like run, uh, right button and left button, but or R1, L1 as I'm now on a PS4. But apparently, so basically your L1 is going to be the way you switch weapon types, and then from like the two handed to one handed version of it. Uh, so L2 is to use your weapon. Actually, let's go ahead and take this guy out so I can get my health back, and I'll go ahead and explain that mechanic as well. Oh wow, you don't do very much damage to him compared to the other weapon I was using. It must just be the one-handed version of this. Yeah, because I guess that, that's a good counter to it. Now that I think about it, because if you have... Uh, it's so it's not in its special mode. Then you don't get to use your pistol, it looks like. Yeah, okay, so apparently you have this attack instead, which is your new parry attack. That's pretty sick. So normally for your L2, you would shoot your gun if you have this out. But if you have both weapons out, you do this attack with this specific character. That's not the case with the um, with the character who extends his axe out. Uh, it's the same as far as I could tell, regardless of what you did. All right, so let's go ahead and climb up this spooky ladder. I say that because of the noise we're about to hear. There we go. I was like, about to hear. Where are you coming? You're gonna come in here. I never saw anything. That, I don't know if you're supposed to see something there. Actually, something I do want to point out with the ladders too is it's similar controls to Dark Souls 2, so you can still run up a ladder by holding circle now, which is nice. And you can obviously still slide down a ladder, which is Dark Souls 2 controls, hold down and circle. Actually, I didn't test out if you could pop off of a ladder. Let's test that out. Nope, double tech being circled does not pop you off of a ladder, so I guess they took that one out. It's, it's funny, because I guess the controls are actually more similar to Dark Souls 1 than Dark Souls 2, which makes sense as the Dark Souls 1 team is the team, as far as I, my understanding goes, that works on this, on Bloodborne, and specifically Miyazaki's. Uh, Hidetaka Miyazaki, who is the game director behind Dark Souls 1, didn't work on Dark Souls 2, he worked on Bloodborne. And, alright, so, there's a, a couple shortcuts here that you could take that I, I think I'll avoid for now, just for the sake of kind of showing off this area. Actually, what I do want to show off, though... Uh, let's let's take this out. I want to show off the parry. So the way the parry works is you see the guy's about to attack, and then, or in the middle of the attack, you shoot him with the gun, and then you can take him out that way. Or then you can do your parry. But you have to shoot him with the gun when he's kind of in the middle of his attack sequence, just like Dark Souls 1. So I could drop down here, and this is kind of actually, I will just drop down here, like going this way. Let's see how this works with dual blades. Oh, jeez, I'm not that powerful compared to... With other, I'm just used to so much more power, man. So much more power. Oh, so one thing that's really weird that I have to fi that like has been throwing me off, and it's more just weird if you're a Dark Souls uh, player in general. Is as far as I can tell, you can't dual wield weapons in this game. 
I mean, not two, dual wield, two hand a weapon in this game. Um, I, I like just quickly taking these guys out. I actually prefer to just go for them. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I'll, I'll finish what I was talking about in a moment. Oh, let me get my health back. Oh, yeah, I should talk about the health regain system. The health regen that's kind of been a topic of discussion that people were really worried about when it was first brought up that that would be a thing you could do. Also, I need to test out this new attack. I wonder if that's going to work like a parry as well. Probably not. Oh, I already died. Sorry, that's what happens when you're testing things out. Um, I knew I should have healed, but I wanted to test that out. Anyways, so the way that blood regen works is, I don't know if you guys noticed, and this is actually, I'm going to make a video on everything we know so far about Bloodborne, and that's kind of, uh, I, I'm planning to have that up this week. I was just waiting to get my own footage, but and I'll talk about that in detail in that, but basically, you have a limited amount of time to regen your health if you get hit, and it's kind of a trade-off, because it makes it so you're going to play a little more offensively, or a lot more offensively, but kind of put yourself at risk more than you really should. And it's definitely a huge trade-off because that that bit of, that moment where you can regen your health doesn't last very long. Yeah, I mean, oh shit! See, there it was. I pressed Y by accident, and already I was trying to like switch off to one-handing my weapon, and I just tapped Y because I'm used to it, and that was actually healing. Right, let's just take this guy out. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, I don't want to just force myself to get hurt, but. When I do get hurt, you'll notice that the bar goes down. When I get hurt by an enemy, I should say. The bar's gonna go down a little bit. And there'll be like a lighter red. Oh, hey, why don't you keep on popping up? That'd be cool. Oh, good, I got another blood vial. Blood vial is your health regen. There's actually, there's another health regen item in this, which is a slow regen. And the blood vials are kind of similar to grass from Demon Souls, where it's a... Oh, so then you can see the lighter red. See that lighter red on my health meter, and now I hit the guy a couple times, and it it regened. Where you see that white bar is where I act, my health is actually at. When you see the light red past that, that's where I can possibly regen my health to when it exists, which is only very specifically after getting hurt by an enemy. And it doesn't last that long; it goes away. So okay, now you can see that I've got that red past the white meter, and I'm gonna hit these enemies, and then I regen my health. But again, it really it doesn't last that long, as I said. So. You do have to watch out for that. I haven't been able to backstab any of these enemies. That's also worth bringing that up. And I don't know if that's just a lack of skill on my part, but I've, I haven't been able to backstab any of them, so... Um, like that guy, it looked like I was behind, and I didn't pull off a backstab on him. So I do think that's definitely worth noting. Right, I do want to shoot this guy, actually, because that's fun. So you notice that he didn't get stunned there, but this time... Oh, that sh I thought that would be a stun. There's a stun. Oh, damn it. No, that was a death. Ah, oh, just wasting my... Wasted my bullets, even though you get them really fast. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, so if I'd gone the other way, that's actually where this would have led to. So, basically, I dropped off here. The other way would be this wraparound down here. And these little creatures, these specters, are... Uh, th that's the ghosts of people who died. So that's how they do it this time around. Is those little ghouls that have the grave around it. These same ghouls, these same specters, that they pop up and they have a little scroll, that means they're carrying a message. And that mess. Uh, and that's how you drop and leave messages for people. You know what I just realized is I actually didn't beat this guy on my own playthrough. Wait a second, I didn't do this either. What is, what is wrong with me? Why didn't I do this on my other playthrough? I guess, like, I don't know. I guess I didn't explore here. Oh, you know what it was? I went to this guy and died and I forgot to come back. Well, that's, that's actually pretty cool. I think that this is the beginning of the game, right over to this spot. And this is a shortcut to where I started. Alright, there's a blood vial. Yeah, okay, so this is the beginning. That's the ladder I climbed up. So that's like a little shortcut-ish thing there. Alright, I'm gonna switch to one-handing for this guy. Because I want to see if I can get a nice uh, counter on this axe dude. Oh, shit. Huge ass... I'm kind of worried about countering him, to be honest. Oh god. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. That is why I didn't kill him the other time. He hurt you for a lot. And I don't hurt him for anything. Oh, that's good. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh, so your R2 attack this time around, you can actually charge up. Which is definitely worth noting. Oh. Oh, you can't do it with this weapon. Oh. 
apparently you can only charge up your R2 attack with the longer weapon that you can snap out, which makes it a really strong attack. Oh, that actually makes that one a lot better. In a lot of ways. Gosh, this guy. Oh, man. Okay, I gotta see if there's a better way to deal with him. Get away from you! What was that? You just headbutted the ground! Apparently he's not the brightest tool in the shed if he's gonna be headbutting the ground with his face. Alright, let's go ahead and do this way. Oh, you, I just ran past one of those notes. What else is over here? I'm just thinking if there's like a reason to actually come back and kill him if I do die from him. Yeah, I'm doing like no damage at all. I kinda, I really miss my other weapon. I just wanna do some damage on him. I mean like, I'm, I guess I'm supposed to uh, blunderbuss him or something. You know this isn't a blunderbuss. Nope! Nope! Why won't you get stunned like the other enemies? Probably because I'm not using the right timing. That would be my guess. Oh, oh no health at all. I'm gonna be wasting all my oh, health regens against you, aren't I? Come on! Oh, oh, I got it. Okay, you can. I was just afraid. Okay. That's what I should have been doing, is actually just going for the parry repost on him. There we go. Got it! Oh, look at all that blood! Soaking that up! Oh, I'm out of bullets. Okay, now I can't go for it. I gotta keep that in mind. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no! Get your attacks out of the way. I got R2. Oh, headbutt the ground, if you would. Oh, that sucks I'm out of bullets. It's actually, I was starting to feel like I had a groove for him. All right, double R2. All right, that's nice to know. Learning things so you don't have to. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like how he just kind of like flopped around when I hit him. He's like, Bleh! oh, oh my. Ah, your headbutts will not hit me. I am headbutt resistant. That is actually what I put all my points in and I rolled a 20. Okay. Oh! oh, he got me with the headbutt. Oh, you j jerk. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's in defensive mode. I just wanted to try and get a health regen. See, that's why I was getting greedy. I knew he was in defensive mode. Oh! Oh, what? Crap. Give me my health back. Give me my health back, you... Oh, well, I got three blood vials. Okay. Pop one of those babies. So the blood vials are on the top left, if you don't notice that. And like I said, and those are like to completely instant. Again, just like grass. No mercy for beasts. I agree. This is the end. Well, it is a dead end. It would seem there really wasn't much reason to go here. Except for learning that I can parry repost those guys with my gun, which was actually pretty worthwhile. Worthwhile thing to learn, so I say. I have to keep track of the time here, because I actually only have a limited amount of time left to play the Alpha, so I want to make sure I can get to and beat the cleric beast who's the boss of the Alpha. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around. Uh, no, no. I have to go down first. So I, I like to eventually just run through this area, and that's literally just running past. But um, all right, so see, there's a beast over there who's. Oh, hey, guy. That was nice of him just to wait. Oh, because he's a. Gun popping dude. Oh, there we go. He's, he'll give me more bullets. The gun guys are pretty good about dropping more bullets for you. Anyone who is carrying a gun. But something I want to point out is uh, as we're walking along the path, more lore stuff here is we see this beast. And you can tell by his face and its fangs that it is a, another a type of beast. Uh, it is hung. Or not hung. It's like crucified, basically. Um, I mean, I know there's a different word for what it technically is, but it's basically as strung up like you would with a witch during the Salem Trials. And being burned at the stake. I guess it's tied up to a stake and being burned at the stake. I guess that's how you would say it. Get out of here! Uh, for, you, for those of you guys who get upset with me about the fact that I'm not targeting, it's I guess it's a Dark Souls 2 habit. I actually do target more in this game than I was in Dark Souls 1. I'm not Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2, but still less than Dark Souls 1, just because it's kind of what I'm used to. But you can target, if you haven't noticed that, that's what that little dot is. So if you see that dot appear that's targeting, it is back. 
Uh, that's something that people were asking me about when I had my first impressions video for uh, when I saw the game at E3, was if you could still target, and it wasn't something I noticed, and uh, you you can. So I just want to clarify, make sure people understand that, yes, you can in this one. Oh, nice, thank you. Is that a blood vial? Yes, it is. Oh, so, okay. Controls, because that's something that was, was kind of throwing me off when I first played this, it's different. So Y is how you heal this time around, or triangle, I should say. I'm just so used to it, 360. Uh, triangle is how you heal this time around. And hey, let me let me go upstairs. I guess you won't. Down is to switch out your weapon or your choice thing. It's still squared for that usable item. So square is your usable item. Uh, that number, that three on the top left, is going to be your uh, bullets. All right, let me switch back to dual blades. I'm all about those dual blades. Hey, look, it's a ghost of someone. And goodbye. What's up, guy? I didn't see you back there. Oh, now I'm using the one single blade. Oh, it's another thing you can do, and I don't know if this character has it. It looks like he doesn't. Oh, he does have it. Okay, cool. You can actually pop out of and switch your weapon, and that's what that is. So if I press R1 and then L1, it's going to switch out my weapon type that I'm using, but then also do an attack. So it's a mid-attack switch. So see, like, right here I have my gun out and I have my blade out. So L1 is to switch your weapons, so I switch to one gun or, or a single blade or double blade. So once again here, let's do it on this enemy over here. If I press L1 during the middle of a fighting sequence, it'll actually attack the guy and then I can keep on going on. And it'll do that switch in the middle of it. So that's a pretty uh, sick switch, or uh, addition, I think. So it actually adds to the combos that you can do. And uh, I imagine that I could also throw in an R2 afterwards and combo with R2 from there. Oh, apparently I have to drop off or attack that. Okay, so the thing over here to worry about is there's a dog, and dogs are brutal in this game. They are incredibly quick. Uh, so they're, yeah, they're... <laughs> Enemy number one in this game are dogs. All right, let's uh, lure out one of the guys here. So one of the things that they gave you, or tools they give you to lure out enemies, is the stone. So let's go ahead and throw a stone, and I'll throw that, show that off. I'll throw that off, too! It's like... I accidentally said throw that off, and it works. Let's press R... Oh, whoops. I was like, let's press L1 and show it off, and I messed it up. Man, I am just getting crap loads of blood vials now. So in this alpha te Damn it! See, there again, I wanted to switch weapons, and I used the blood vial. I mean, as I just bragged about how many blood vials I have, I guess it's not the biggest deal, but... Yeah, so, so in the beta, if you die, you just... Your, the amount of blood vials you have carries over in the beta, in the alpha. And the ones that you can find carry over as well, which makes sense. It's like if you're actually playing the game. So it's not like a total reset. So any blood vial you can find on the ground, you just lose if you uh, if you die. That's, that's You've lost it. Which again, it's just like actually playing the game, but that's not something I was necessarily expecting with the beta, so... I kind of got used to playing and like fighting the Cleric Beast boss with zero blood vials. Alright, you're gonna block, then I will... Try to wrap around and... Try to... Try to get to the point where I can... Backstab you, but apparently I won't be able to. If you notice there too, when I was dodging, it actually switches the way you dodge when you're... Uh, targeting an enemy. So when you see those like fast shifty mo movements, that's specifically when you're targeting an enemy. Uh, oh cool, I've got 12. Okay, there is a dude back here pounding that we will meet in a moment. So that is what that is, but all those environmental factors are nice. Uh, so what all these guys were around, by the way, all these people I've been killing is this, it was a giant mass that was congregating around in this, which was one of the bigger beasts, uh, an even bigger one. Now again, tied up to this stake and being burned at the stake and just a giant one here but it, there were a huge amount of them just mobbed up watching him so I guess if I die I will show that off at some point if I have time I've got like another uh, about 45 50 minutes left so I do plan at the moment to use the rest of it for this let's play so if that means like switching characters and stuff if I get the opportunity I will Oh yeah, so again, these are the note guys, now that I can take a closer look at them. So it's those same things, but now they're carrying a scroll. Behind me, I already killed everybody behind me, I think I'm good. Thank you though. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up another blood vial. 13. I like it. 
So one thing I'm a huge fan of for this game is I really like the environment. And I've talked about this before, and I think it's really cool. Oh, sick. Oh, nice. Okay, so speaking of the environment, here you have this giant dude. Um, so I think I've seen pictures of it before, and I thought it looked like a spider before. But now it looks like almost like Cthulhu-esque with its like mouth, I mean, where it's got all the tentacles coming out. It's still like an arachnid with the uh, legs. It actually only looks like it has six legs. Oh, no, it has eight. Sorry, look at the right side. There's eight, four on the right, four on the left. But look at all the eyeballs that it has. So all these environmental details, and it's just like looking at stuff like this is what got me excited with Dark Souls 1. It's just like seeing that stuff in the distance, and like I bet you're going to have to fight this thing at some point. I didn't see this close-up view of it, actually. I'm pretty excited because like I could actually use this footage for everything that we know about the alpha video. Um, but yeah, okay, I was wondering if you could see him closer, and there it is. You, you can see him further away, too. And it definitely just makes it seem like at some point you are definitely have to fight that thing. And just seeing it in a distance like that just makes it so much more freaky. I wonder if, like, I've been wondering about these statues at the well. I mean, since it's Miyazaki behind this, I like to think that they tried to make it so everything means something. Oh, so these crows are interesting because you can't really see them very well at all until they come out and attack you. They're almost like tar-covered crows. Which is pretty cool. Oh, I don't know if I ever uh, noticed that. Well, I guess like I did chop that thing up before. I just didn't know that there was an item behind. Stop beating me up! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Holy crap! That guy like tore me up. Oh, if you notice too, you get covered in blood, and I don't know what you get eventually that makes it stay, but it just lasts for a long time. Yeah, there is so much, and also the blood splatters on the ground, like all these great details. And also, here we go. Here's your confirmation, guys, that um, ragdoll physics are back. There you go. <laughs> You're welcome for that confirmation. Alright, so something that the, the alpha was pushed back. And the reason that the alpha was pushed back, or the final day of the alpha was pushed back, was because of this right here. And I'll show you what I can of it. Oh, also, jump mechanics are Dark Souls 1 again, where you double tap O to jump. Uh, while you're So you tap O while you're running, and that's how you jump. Or circle. So basically, if I time it right here, here we go, you can climb up here. And then I tried doing it, and I don't want to do it at the moment because I'm kind of far and I don't have any shortcuts open around where I'm at, but I can fall off to the left here and it's actually going to clip me through the ground and I will die. But I'm fairly certain that before it wouldn't clip you and you could actually just get through here and that was a shortcut. Uh, and then you could open up another shortcut in the game, A, and B, you could actually find a new character or a new boss who said a in, really interesting bit of dialogue that I love to delve and dish out here but I know some people don't want spoilers so probably at the end of the alpha I'll go ahead and say like spoiler alert or and say what it is or in my everything we know so far about Bloodborne video I'll actually talk about it in that and like have a spoiler warning but um yeah that's a really interesting thing what's down there and I wish I'd been able to see it but they after people discovered it, they immediately pushed back the alpha, and I don't think it's available anymore. Uh, at least that particular thing is, I mean, they got at least a couple of these dogs here. So something cool that we're actually going to find, or see, is there's this, this raiding party here, and they, well, I guess you didn't get to see it properly, but it's two guys, and they have with them this dog, and it's like the dogs are better at sensing enemies than the people are. Like, they're much... Oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh, no, I found the dead end. No, no, no! All right, I guess we can look at the mob and all that. I was... I accidentally went to the dead end. But, yeah, I guess we'll be able to maybe see that a little bit better. So that's actually a raiding party uh, that we're seeing right there. Almost, or like a search party. Sorry, not a raiding party. Search party that we're seeing right there. And it definitely is, and it's just cool that they have those elements that you can tell that it's a search party, because it's one dog, a guy with a torch, and then another guy uh, who I think is just ready to attack, but the dog is better at sniffing out and finding people, they, they're, and they're better at hearing things too than than the humans or monsterish creatures are in this game. And yeah, so these creatures that I'm fighting aren't quite humans, and they're not quite uh, beasts. They are... Um, I think it's like a somewhere like a midway point, and I think that we're supposed to be some sort of hunter that's killing the beasts. But I mean, they're definitely afraid of beasts, like full-on beasts, because they kill them. But you can see that he's like kind of like a halfway transformation. So yeah. Oh, I guess uh, another thing that's worth noting is that since it's an alpha, obviously there's no like souls or anything that I can go back and collect. 
So at the moment, like, dying... It's hard to tell, like, what you're gonna have to, like, get back if you die, or what you lose and stuff like that, or how that system works is... It just hasn't been implemented yet. So yeah, so where all these guys are going, I guess I will head out with them so you can see it. And then I'm gonna just quickly oh, go through. Because at this point, might as well. But yeah, you can see that, like, this giant party of torches just heading here. And they're like, oh, what is this guy running? So... Taking it slow is probably the recommended method, I guess, but... Eh. Eh. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, the dog. Those dogs, man. Those dogs are death. Get out of here, dog. So much worse than the people slash creatures. Right, I don't think I need to take out the crows again. Let's go and heal. I got enough blood vials to spare. For once. Yeah, like, I, I think some of the... I don't know if I consider this game harder than Dark Souls 1. Um, and I'm sure that's... I, I'm just bringing that up all of a sudden because I was thinking, like, what what do people probably want to know? And I bet, I bet comparisons to Dark Souls 1 and difficulty is something that people were worried about. At, at the moment, it's, it's hard to say if this is going to be... if this is harder than Dark Souls 1. Like, I find Dark Souls 1 more difficult than Dark Souls 2, personally. Um... And then, I guess, like, compared to Demon's Souls... I actually say Demon's Souls is the hardest of the three, in my opinion. Oh, no, 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 dog! Damn you, dog! Ah, oh, these dogs. These dogs, though! Alright. Oh, wow, there's there's more. The raiding party got bigger. Let's get this rifle guy away. Oh, crap! Alright, that guy decided to follow me, which I knew that he did. I knew he ended up coming up here. But I wasn't sure how long it took. Oh, I should have shown it. Damn it. Oh, well. I guess we'll just go down to where he was. So, see this door right here? That pounding that we saw on the door before? That was actually this guy, and he was the one pounding on the door. This giant, huge dude, like, trying to get it open. So, uh, he was standing over here, just, like, literally banging with two arms on the wall. And I guess I should have shown that off. Oh, well! You watch another video where they have it, I suppose. Like, Peeves has some good Bloodborne videos. Uh, where did he go? He, he was just up here. Oh, there he is. Actually, you know what we're gonna want to do for him is switch out to one weapon. Oh! Now I notice how I'm doing that run attack. But yeah, we want to switch to one weapon and try and get the strong attacks on him. That's the way to take care of this guy. Oh shit. Hopefully not get hit like that. So yeah, and if you notice, I didn't stun him before because it kind of does work like parries where you have to do it just before they're attacking. Alright, well, we got a blood vial. So, yeah, using the gun is essentially your parry in this game, and your parry reposting. And, uh, it works very similarly. I'm just kind of... I don't know why I went back there. I thought maybe I missed an item. I was like, let me just go double check and make sure I didn't miss anything. I, when I saw this, I got really excited because of Dark Souls 2, where you have the stones that can drop into the well and reveal an item. I was like, there's gonna be an item! No. <laughs> oh, well. I was legitimately really excited when I first saw it. I was like, oh my god, there's gotta be something in there. I found a secret. Nope. They gave me nothing. Oh, we got an oil urn. So, I, I'm i pretty sure with the oil urn... Oh, that's cool if you watch how the blade actually sticks together. That's sick. Okay, anyways. Uh, I'm fairly certain that the oil urns... And I haven't tested that too much, but I think if you throw it at an enemy... It essentially works as similar to Dark Souls 2, where it covers them in oil, and then when you throw a Molotov cocktail at them... It's already... The Molotov cocktail is your explosive weapon. It's like a firebomb. But then when they're covered in oil, I think it just deals additional damage. Alright, so this was how I saw the spider last time. Or that, like, arachnid Cthulhu-esque thing was from up here. Which is just... Oh, so cool. Look how long his body actually is, if you look at the top part of it. It's actually got a long tailish thing. Alright, so before I move on with the quest over to the left, I want to show off this creature, which... Actually, I didn't find out except for from Peeves, so thank you, Peeves, for this. So this guy is similar to Crystal Whispers in the sense that they'll just disappear. It's like a little, like, four-legged ghoul thing with multiple heads. Uh, that's kind of, like, scavenging around, so... Uh, just, like, sick, sick character design in this game. I actually already... And I, I don't... I don't know. I guess I'm already hyping this game up a lot, but... 
I already like the design of the characters and creatures in this game more than Dark Souls 1. Alright, so there you see that beast again. So this is where we are. We're actually above that area from the beginning. Um, and that is the location we're at. It's just a little bit higher up. So that you can kind of like see where we ran from. So the left was like a wraparound to this area. So uh, just the level design itself too here. The fact that there's all these wraparounds and it's so three-dimensional. It's just really strong level design. Uh, that I've already, like, this is just another drop-off. Like, this is already our second drop-off, just to this little area here, which shows you just how much we've been wrapping around. Um, I, just, I just think that's super strong level design, because it makes it feel like a full, lived-out world when you can wrap around like that. And that's something that, I, I don't know if it's Miyazaki specifically, or if it's someone on his team that's influencing it that way, but whoever it is is just doing a fantastic job. All right, so this guy's going to help us out. And I, I apparently, um, if you, this was, this isn't something I can confirm per se, but, I mean, I guess I sort of can't, oh, oh shit, shit, no, 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 I need more blood, need more blood, need more blood. Oh, also, if you heal up, you'll notice that even from the heal, shit. Well, I'll just quickly run back here, I guess. Um, so with that guy, though, who's helping us out, yeah, I'm actually, I'm not as good with this weapon as the other weapon, I'm realizing. I mean, I guess I did play an hour and a half with the other weapon and get used to it. I'm just used to the stronger attacks. That kind of stunned them a little bit better. Oh, so anyways, with the guy who's been, who was just helping me out there, he's another hunter, and this is something I found out at E3 from the E3, E3 presentation, is something they were telling us there, is that guy's another hunter, and essentially, apparently, if you help him out, he might help you later with co-op stuff. And if you don't help him out, he doesn't, or maybe he attacks you. Um, but that's that's kind of how that guy works. I'm not sure, but this might be the door that that shortcut that is no longer accessible might open up. I'm not I'm not exactly entirely sure. All right, let's actually fall this time. Let's do like even more, even quicker. Gonna go super, super quick. Speed run. So, yes, yeah, speed running's back. <laughs> if anyone was wondering, which I doubt anyone was. Here you go, speed running you can still do. No. Oh. Yeah, I actually, I, I got, I kind of like and got used to the Dark Souls 2 mapping of the controls for jumping just because of there I was trying to dodge and I accidentally jumped and son of a bitch. Tagged me at the end. A jackass. What a jerk! Getting that tag on. Oh! Oh! Here you can see this guy banging on the door. So that's actually what that banging was that we saw earlier. So good thing I died. Now I can show that off. Alright, actually, if I do end up playing another character and having time to do that, which I don't know given these deaths I'm, I'm suffering, um, if I do have time to do that, what I would like to show off. Oh, you know what I should have done was opened up the other shortcut, now that I think about it. Oh, I had to get past the werewolves. What am I thinking? Alright. Oh, shit. That guy just... Damn, that dog tagged me good. Alright, I think I'm going to quick cut it here at this point, because this is just going to be boring watching me just run through that again. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Oh, sh... No, no, no. 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 No, you get off. Oh, 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 oh. You know, something else I'm realizing as I was running through this is that you actually have a lot more stamina this time around when it comes to, like, how many attacks you can do and how many rolls you can do. Like, look how many rolls I'm fitting in there. That's a lot. At least I think it's a lot. I mean, it's just, just saying. It's my opinion. Feels like a lot to me. Feels like a lot to me. All right, dog, come here. Come here, dog. You first, dog. You Yeah, I see you barking over and hollowing it, howling at me. Hollowing at me. Yeah, go hollow. There, got you. Oh, sh. <laughs> Jeez, that was close. Alright, take this gunman out and get. Ugh, and get skadooshed by blood. Okay, look, I just want your blood. I just want your blood. Is that so much to ask for? Oh, just, just coat me. Just cover me in your blood. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. Alright, let's do this guy. Let's do it this time. Hey, let's go fight some werewolves together. You and me, axe-wielding guy. Yeah, so this guy has another build that you can play as, which is the axe build. Alright, I'm gonna play it a little bit smarter. He doesn't get hurt for very much. He's a higher level than me, clearly. Oh! 
Alright. Like, I can take out these guys when- Oh wait, I should do R2, shouldn't I? There we go. That would be a big problem of mine, is not using the R2 attack. One, two, three, R2! To you! Oh, oh! Damn it! No, 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 no! Holy shit! Holy shit, they do a lot of damage. Okay. Let's do R1s, 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 and R2. I don't know if I have two weapons out or if I accidentally put one back at the end. Didn't put it back. All right. Deal with this guy this time. No, you come here. I got an idea for what I want to do to you. I want to do the L2 attack. Oh, it didn't do shit. <laughs> it's like, it'd be fun to, like, get him and then get away. All right, actually, I didn't get a good look at this dude. I want to look at him now. Let's see. Let's see. He's got a giant, giant gun. I mean, he's wearing similar, a similar outfit to us, so, I mean, he's definitely a hunter like us. He's got a grimace on his face. Clint Eastwood's, like, hair. So it's like Daryl Dixon hair. Daryl Dixon. Daryl from, uh, Walking Dead. Whose actor's name I'm forgetting? Look, look, see? I, like, that looks like it would have been a backstab in Dark Souls 1. Not a backstab here. Read note. Mystery waiting hand. Oh, okay, so something else I, I wasn't showing off yet. If you press the left button, you can also switch over your, like, I can, literally I can, un uh, switch it so my main weapon is the gun. Uh, or apparently not. Or I should say, you take out your, uh, you can just punch people. I just saw the gun get equipped, that's why I was surprised, because the other character didn't do that, but I was wrong. Alright, so, pressing the right stick switches out your right weapon, just like Dark Souls, and then switching to the left, you already are pre-equipped with the torch. So, at least in the beta, and it worked this way in Dark Souls 2's beta, so I, I don't want to, like, jump to any conclusions, but the beta for Dark Souls, or for Bloodborne, has torches working as the way they were intended to work in Dark Souls 2, as you see right here. Because if I don't have this equipped, we can barely see him. Oh, damn it! Again with that! I was trying to two-hand. A little two-hand like that. Mid-attack. We'll do it the cool way. But anyways, torches actually work the way they're supposed to in this alpha. Now, I imagine, given that we have a PS4 this time around, and it's not a PS3 slash 360 uh, that they're programming for, and I know it's on PC as well, but I, th I think that's what they're trying to uh, make sure it worked for and optimized for. Um, I, I think torches are going to actually work this time around. Alright, so this dude right here, you got to watch out for. Even though he's on a wheelchair, he's going to wheel around to shoot you with this giant-ass gun. Giant blunderbuss, so... Yeah. Good thing about this guy, though, is if you run low on ammo, he actually... I, I found he always drops five. And this might just be a specifically a beta thing, but he always dropped five for me. I don't think there's anything back here. It's probably just some... Some dude... Trying to, like, drop a message for fun's sake. Oh, I just realized something else I should show, but... Before I show it, I want to make sure I open up the shortcut, because that's going to be incredibly important. Alright, shortcut's going to be up here. Let's take out this dude. Take you out, bro! Get me some blood vials. Oh, yeah, he just dropped more... More ammo, so at the moment, I don't know if this max increases, but at the moment my max ammo is... 20. Oh, I'm an, I'm an idiot. So this this door right here that I was saying, like, maybe that's the door, the shortcut that you open up when you do the jump. Here's the shortcut for that very beginning that you saw when I was running for where I keep on respawning at. So this is where I've, I've been starting for the start of the respawn, because here's that ladder right here. So as soon as I respawn, you start here, and then here's that a gate to the left that you now open. That's just a big shortcut. So now that we have our shortcut open, we can get to the Cleric Beast pretty quickly. And let's see if I can beat him. I have so many blood vials that I should definitely be able to beat him and hopefully switch characters and show off another character build. That would be my hope. Although, I've only got about a half hour left, so... Gotta do all that in a half hour. There's actually gonna be another guy I'd like to kill and show off killing. First, though, switch to our... Parry weapon, our gun, and that should help out with this guy. So you see another one of those big dudes over here coming up, and it, it's he, they're pretty difficult. I don't know. I guess they're not that hard to dodge away from, but you definitely it makes it much easier to try to target them. Him. Here we go. There we go. But targeting makes them much, much, much easier. This guy. I don't know why I got hurt there. I don't know what hit me. Ha! 
Midair shoots you down. There we go. That's the way you do it. And I'll get my blood vial from you. All right, let's. Oh god. Oh god, the crows. Oh, I'm so bad at them. It's because I get in front of them. I'm just. I get impatient. It's really like as long as you let them do their attack like that and get behind them, they're really easy. Oh damn it! It's the other one behind me. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more, uh, some more ammo before I go fight this guy. So, normally I would just, like, if I was going straight to the Cleric Beast, I would just run through this, but, um, yeah, this time around. Oh, wait, is this maybe gonna be some more ammo? Yes, there we go. Yes, yes! Don't have to run all that far back. I feel like I just saw, like, a double note thing. Maybe it's just a bloodstain and a note next to each other. Alright, so here we have the boss. Now, something that they've been trying to get you to do for this specific playthrough, and I haven't gotten to work for me yet, is the middle touchpad for the PS4, if you do it to the left, this is where all your gestures are. So, there's our joy gesture. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Shake off cape! Ha! Nice! Let's see, conviction. Uh, point forwards. Anyways, this is where all of our gestures are. I guess, like... I never do that, like, PS... Since I didn't get a PS4 until later on, I've never really used it for gesture type of stuff. Anyways, if you click it to the point, a uh, pad to the left, it'll pull up this menu. If you click it to the right, it'll pull up this menu. So the lonely bell is what you're supposed to use for co-op, from my understanding. And I tried using it to get people to join me, it wasn't working. The notepad is how you write a note for someone, and that's how I can then... Remember the... I right, let's leave a note for someone. Uh, object. Remember the bullets. There we go. Okay. See, that's that's actually helpful for people. And anyways, uh, I don't know what parting shot does, as I can't use it. Wait, I just... Uh, yeah. But, small resonant bell, if you use it, it'll make it so there's ripples that appear from underneath your feet. And this is how you're supposed to join someone's game. So you see those ripples there that are appearing? And you're supposed to be able to join someone's game who used the lulling bell. I haven't gotten to work yet. And, um... Especially, like, this day of the... And I haven't gotten the lulling ball yet to work either. So anyways, this day of the... Oh, let's just stay still when I use it. I just want to see if I can get it to work. But, yeah, this day of the alpha was supposed to be the co-op day where you do a lot of co-op. So I thought I'd, like, test it out and see how it works. And I just haven't... I haven't gotten it to work for myself yet. So... You'd think around here by the cleric boss would be it. Maybe over by the beginning of the level. Anyways, uh, Cleric Boss is going to be right here, so this is actually going to turn into a Fog Gate after the Cleric Boss appears. So, here we go. So there's the Cleric Boss, and now you can see if we try to run away, uh, Fog Gate should be up. Yeah, so now the Fog Gate's up. So we can't run away. You can actually target two parts of this boss. Oh shit, wrong... What? Uh, 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 uh. So we want to shoot his head, and I... If you shoot his head, and I haven't figured out the timing on it, but if you shoot his head at the right timing, then you can do this strong attack on him. Um, but like I said, oh shit, 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 shit. Like I said, I haven't figured out the timing on it yet. Actually, let's drop this. And let's see. Timing. Yeah, so I don't know if like it's supposed to be like it was with the... Uh, yeah, see how I'm hitting him in the head multiple times and it's not doing anything? I really don't know if it's supposed to be after an attack or something like that. Because I've tried it... Okay, well now he's just moving around too much. But, like, see, like, the last one didn't seem like it was after a big attack or, like, before as he was about to go into a big attack. So, I don't know. It's been throwing me off. Now I'm out of bullets, so I'm going to have to just deal with him without it. I wish I had a strong attack. Oh, well, I don't. Let's go... Two hand. Oh shit. There we go. Yeah, I do like no. I did poopy for damage. Okay. Two, two. I don't. I don't know. I guess I haven't been targeting him too much, and I guess I should target him more. But. Oh, nice. That was like a run for dash target. Oh, he hurts you for a lot. All right, I'll quick cut it. Back to the boss fight. See you guys in a moment. 
All right, so I'm actually starting up right here again, uh, right after the loading screen, specifically so I can show off this shortcut and some other things that I'm gonna do. Oh, damn it! Uh, do really quick just to make this boss a little more doable. At least get that strong attack at the beginning, and then maybe figure out how to do it again. Uh, so one thing specifically is that I do want to attack this guy, as I was talking about before. And I can show this now, he's just going to drop five quick silver bullets for me. And then... Oh, uh, nice, another blood vial. I'll take it! Don't mind if I do. Oh, actually, shit. It's like, don't need to do that, so I shouldn't do it. And another thing you'll see now is the fog gate is actually up. So if you die to at least this specific boss, um... There's no fog gate at first, as they keep it as a surprise, and then the fog gate goes up. So, they make it a little more, uh... I guess, like, uh... Feels a little more in-game. Oh, shit. Again with that. I really need to get better about that. Okay, so see, like, that time I just did it as he was, like, moving his hand forward, so... I don't quite know. Haha, right. <laughs> at least I got the bloody attack on him. Alright, so see you can target his body too. Alright, oh shit. That's good, because I meant to... Definitely did not mean to do what I did. Alright, let's see. No, 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 no! Oh, that's bad timing. Oh god, I thought he'd killed me, so I was just not doing anything. Well, now he did. So now I'll fast cut it. Alright, and we are back. So I do apologize, guys, if I'm not the best at this boss yet. I'm still figuring out things, just even getting used to the controls. So I'm sorry. So, like Some people at this point would have played the game, um, have already played the game. Like if This is like their third time playing it for a few hours, whereas this is my still my first time. And I'm just trying to get some good footage for you guys to see. So again, I do apologize for that. Cannot die, because if I die, then I lost all these blood vials for nothing. And I probably will die, though. There we go. There's some damage. Now I knocked him down a peg again. Like how I'm just coated in blood now. Alright. Stop flurrying and use something I know. Damn it! Well, there goes everything. I'll see you guys momentarily. Why I'm getting a little antsy with him is because I have a limited amount of time with this demo. And I don't want to completely, uh, I don't know, I, I just don't want to not be able to finish the boss before I run out of time. Alright, here's the blood vials. Got them. Four more blood vials. This is really weird. It's getting hard. It's just like, oh, I don't even have a way to heal. Shit. And he killed me in one hit. Alright. See you guys soon. So I'm sorry to people who get, are getting annoyed if I'm not, um... For the sake of I'm not really targeting him very much. Again, that's kind of just my, I guess, Dark Souls 2 habit. And it's the fact that uh, a lot of it's really coming from... I, I guess I want to be able to see him, and I feel like when I'm targeting him, since he's such a big boss, I'll lose that line of sight on him. And it's it's a little bit harder for me to, I, I suppose... Uh, I don't know. I guess I should try targeting him a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to try this time around. And for people who are saying, like, if there's any... I I'm sure there are people who are watching, like, Oh, you suck! And stuff like that. Just, I don't know. Play the game first, and then you can, uh... You can say that. It's a first playthrough, essentially, so... It's not going to be the easiest thing in the world. Alright. So, oh, shit. Well, there goes a blood vial wasted. Yeah, again, I'm sorry if, like, it seems like I'm complaining about stuff. I really do enjoy this game a lot, and this this beta's been awesome. It's just a lot of stress for the sake of, like, I just died again, and I'm like, I don't have much time left to beat this boss. I'm just, uh, just a hunter. Part beast, perhaps. With a f uh, few bullets to spare. So I can knock out a werewolf's face. It's funny, when I watch the, uh... When I watched the playthroughs of this boss, I was like, man, this guy doesn't look that hard. He's so much harder than he looks. Like, especially, like, from, coming from Souls, you're like, man, why don't you just dodge and attack? It's not that hard. And, it, I don't know, just something about it, it's just much harder than it looks. For 
in my opinion. Oh, crap. Crap. God, I gotta be really wary about my, uh... Why are you, sh why are you shooting this stuff out of your face? Wow. One hunter, one cleric beast. Who will go down? Not looking too good for cleric beast. With giant antlers in the face. Okay, there we go. Got that that ass fountain of blood on me. That's literally what that was. It was a nice little ass fountain. Alright. And I wonder if when he does that it revives his face, so you can then hit him again with um bullets. Oh no 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 no. Because that would be nice if I could actually get your face. There we go. I think that is what that is. I think that might be like him reviving his face so he can actually do that attack again. That just could be it. Oh, no. No, I finally figured you out and then you're gonna back smash me. Oh, no. I rolled right into it. So when he does his little uh, head thing, I think that actually when he like when he puts his Come on. Two hits is how you stun him. I need to not waste bullets. Anyways, when he... He does like a little magic thing around his face, and when it happens, I believe that is him uh, reviving his face. And after that, that's when you can actually hit him again with that... That strong attack. Wow, that was really close. Come on. You run to revive your face again so I can hit it. You know you want to. You look all bloody and disgusting, and I know you're just thinking about, Oh man, my face is so gross, I, I should really do something about that. Crap. Oh no. Well, there it is. Okay, so that was the thing I was talking about that I was kind of waiting for him to do. So at this point now, I believe you can- Oh shit. I thought I took out my gun. No! Okay, so there's one. And this should be two. There we go. Alright, so... Now we gotta get him to do it again. And again. Because I don't do hardly any damage with this character. Uh, am I too old blading? I guess I keep on like being like, man, I'm not doing any damage to him. Oh! No, 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 no! Shit! No shit! No! I'm just about out of time. And if that happens, I'm, I guess I'll just show my other defeat of him. The arms I still haven't figured out. Well, there I go.
Alright, well, uh, apparently that was it. Ran out of time, so unfortunately I didn't get a chance to beat the cleric boss. Uh, I tried doing co-op on my own multiple times, and I'm reading that some people like were able to get it to work for them, and I just couldn't. But apparently you're able to move around when you're doing both summoning and getting summoned in co-op. Uh, just like in the Souls game. I'm not sure why it wasn't working for me. But, um, yeah, as far as the Cleric Beast goes, I'm going to go ahead and throw on the footage of myself that I recorded earlier beating him with the Sawblade weapon. Sorry, I know it's not that cool that I because I didn't get it in person. Um, I just ran out of time, and unfortunately this is my first time playing through, so I'm still getting used to things. So, sorry if I seem bad, I guess. So from playing this game, from playing this alpha test, I find that it feels more Dark Souls 1 Demon Souls-y than Dark Souls 2 did to me when I played Dark Souls 2 at E3 and I kind of got a little taste of that. I'm actually more excited from this alpha test than I was from the Dark Souls 2 beta test and than I was from the Dark Souls 2 playing it at E3. My excitement kind of ramped up with Dark Souls 2 as time progressed and it got closer and closer to releasing, but with Bloodborne... I guess something about the design of the game, both the atmosphere of the world and the character design, and then the way that combat feels, it just feels, it really clicks with me, it feels right. And I'll go ahead and explain that more in this video that I'm going to be working on for everything we know so far about Bloodborne, which I'm hoping to have up by the end of this week. Also, Dark Souls 2 lore video, um, I've made a lot of progress with that. Finally finished all the Lois Souls I need, for people who know what I'm talking about, getting that. So, finally have all the footage I need with it, I'm just finishing that up, I just wanted to pop up this Lust Play as... It kind of came in the middle of me working on that lore video, so should have two awesome videos, a uh, Dark Souls 2 lore video and the Bloodborne Everything We Know So Far video uh, sometime this week. So that's what you have to look forward to. And thank you guys so much again for checking this out. I hope you guys enjoyed, despite me getting kind of frustrated with the Cleric Beast. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace, guys. Later.